Zoos, the nation's second favorite place to eat snacks while smelling feces. But recently, concern about how the animals are being treated has led to a backlash against zoos, with many rights groups calling for them to be closed altogether. Joining us to debate the issue is animal rights activist John Caroli. Thanks for having me. And live via FaceTime is Sebastian, whose mommy promised him a trip to the zoo if he finished all his peas. Whoa. Oh, what a cutie. John, I think public sentiment has come in line with calls to ban elephants and large cats from the circus. But most zoos advocate for conservation, just like you. Zoos have no intention of releasing captive animals into the wild. They just desensitize children to believing exotic animals like giraffes should be gawked at from behind a cage. No! Sebastian, a rebuttal? I am the one. Well, it's hard to argue with that. I am dinosaur. With what? That point was completely incoherent. Oh, a little harsh, John. Are you advocating for the closure of the Metro Toronto Zoo, no matter how many vegetables Sebastian eats? I want berries. I suppose you want to take his berries away, too. I'm more than happy for Sebastian to eat fruit rather than meat and dairy products. John, toddlers need milk to build bone mass. Sebastian, how do you respond to this low blow? Oh, no. Can I start over? I, I feel like my points aren't coming across here. The bottom line is it's morally reprehensible to allow zoos to keep animals like elephants locked up in tiny cages. No! For God's sake, John, just let the kid see an elephant. Okay, fine, he can go to the zoo. Well, I am glad you're finally seeing things Sebastian's way, John. <laughs>